Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and today we are looking at a brand new release of Godot. Godot 3.2.4 Beta 1 was just released and we're going to start things off with a side-by-side -side demonstration. So as you can see here, I have both versions installed, the current stable release, Godot 3.2.3 and the brand new beta, Godot 3.2.4. I've got the same project loaded up in Godot twice now. I'm going to go ahead and launch it on the one, on the one side of the screen and then I'm going to get over to the other version of Godot, this is the uh, existing stable version, and I'm going to run the exact same project. So you can see right here, the uh, stable version is running, and then I'll bring up the other one on screen. This is the new beta version, and this is a benchmarking program called Bunny Mark. It's kind of an industry standard for doing 2D tests. I've opened the exact same project up uh, at the same time under the same load usage and everything else. Now, benchmarking is a very imprecise science, and you can get vastly different results depending on how you run it. But as you can see here, the exact same project running at the exact same time, and you're going to notice that uh, the number of bunnies being drawn on the top version is a fairly substantially higher number than on the bottom. We're going almost 5,000 on the one, uh, whereas we're just shy of 4,000 on the other. So we're looking like 20 to 30 percent faster run times on the one uh, one machine again very imprecise technology in that we are you know all kinds of things are that can be variable when you're doing benchmarking here but we're running the same machine at the same time so you should get a pretty good indication of what performance is like so what we're seeing here is about a 20 to 25 percent in performance increase on 2d drawing between the two um to the two versions and we're going to switch back here to the other one just as so you can see being in focus isn't going to make any change or ramification over how fast it draws so what we're seeing here is the brand new beta is quite a bit faster than the existing version and i haven't changed anything in code these are the exact same projects running uh just um, you know, different versions of the game engine, and that is it. So what we're going to do now is we will take a look at the release notes for this newest version of the Godot engine so you can get an idea, oops, uh, you can get an idea of uh, what we are dealing with here. This is uh, Godot 3.2.4 Beta 1, and the big thing here, what you are seeing in action here is 2D batching for GLES, um, and in the improvements that you see from the speed there. Now, what a um, GL bat, sorry, uh, sprite batching basically is, is instead of sending all of the individual uh, draw calls off to the GPU, so if you've got a thousand sprites on scene, you're making a thousand draw calls. What you're doing instead is batching those draw calls into a smaller number of calls, and that makes it uh, less texture loads and binds on the machine. It just basically, the GPU is in a happier state having sprite batching. But what it commonly means to you is what you will probably see is a pretty significant speed up in your 2D game just by going to this version. As long as you're using the GLES3 renderer, the GLES2 renderer got no love, and the Godot 4, even though I believe that the sprite batching functionality is going to be in Godot 4, uh, that's the Vulkan renderer, a completely different story, so you can't even really benchmark or compare. Also, on top of that, the uh, bunny marking code that I used here, which I will link to in the link article down below, so if you want to run these benchmarks yourself, uh, it's not my project, it's someone else's work, but I will link that down below if you want to check it out on your own machine. Uh, that code does not currently compile under Godot 4 because of changes that were made to GDScript. But really, again, you're benchmarking completely different backend renderers, so it, just be aware. But on top of that, uh, we've got other things in this release here, app Android bundle and subview embedding support, a brand new software skinning for mesh instances to replace the slow GPU skinning on devices that don't support fast GPU skinning which is ideal in the world of mobile. And then as you see here, we have a number of other changes across the release. I will link to the, the these release notes as well if you want to jump in and check it out. But definitely the big one is the improvements to the 2D batching. And what we were seeing here is a pretty significant increase in speed as a result. Again, benchmarking is a very imprecise uh, practice. You, we've got much uh, different hardware across the board. You have different software running and everything else. But the fact that we've got these two running side by side at the exact same time, and you can see a pretty profound difference. Obviously, they're they're sharing resources in the end, but the new version is definitely um, definitely faster on the whole. So uh, if you are doing a 2D game, it's probably worthwhile to go and check out uh, Godot 3.2.4 Beta 1 that was released this week, uh, because without really having to do anything, there is a, a potentially a pretty significant 
2D speed increase here because of the new sprite batching functionality. And that is definitely a cool new change. So other than that, there are a number of other changes available here. I will once again link to the release notes if you wanna get in here and figure out what else happened in this particular release. But a lot of the rest of this stuff is pretty small for the most part. Uh, but you know, otherwise nice uh, progressions going forward. The nice thing here is even though it's a developmental branch stuff, there are downloads available to you, including all of the uh, you know, export templates and such that you might need uh, for both the standard and the C-sharp builds are available out there. I will link that linked article down below. So if you want to go ahead, check this one out yourself, uh, compare it against what the standard version is. And let me know in the comments down below what kind of a speed difference you get. Perhaps you don't see this, this, the same amount that I do. I know in various different tests I've run, I've gone and gotten uh, quite significantly different results as a result of um, them. But you can see here again, this one is showing uh, a much more profound increase. So we went from 5,600 up to almost 7,000. And um, you may even notice I'm running down here on battery power right now. So this does have a pretty significant uh, impact on the performance. As you can see, it just dropped a fair bit in <laughs> the amount, but still an extra uh, thousand sprites on screen and nothing to sneeze at no matter how you look at it. So that is the new update, Godot 3.2.4, currently in beta. Obviously beta means don't be using it in a production environment, but definitely something worth checking out. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.